Hello everybody. Alright, this is Ben 2. And we're going to check it out. I was telling you about all the babies in it. And stuff, let's see what it's got. It's kind of full. Put those down. Oh, we'll bring them up over there. Yeah. Just keep any of those worms from drying out while we dig around. I'm going to show you how I feed them. Put this worm or this apple in there. I haven't even started on it. That's crazy. Easily, oh, my skin's not broken. Huh. It had mold come out of it. That's weird. But oh wow, look at all the babies. I mean, yeah. Got a clump of babies here. But I think I'm going to end up separating this bin too. I mean, it is just full of babies. But you'll see. I, mean, I don't even know what that was. Well, that's a potato. It's full of babies. But, yeah. It's an avocado pit, some cabbage. Oh, that is just full of babies. When they grow up, they're gonna get just as big as these other guys, and they're gonna fill this bin. So, I want to separate them. That apple back, I'm kind of curious. It's been in there like four or five days, something like that, I don't know. But, oh wow, yeah. They're just a huge pile of worms in there. I actually got it all domed up. Well, my hands are coated in baby worms. But I'll show you how I feed them too, so this will be kind of an up close look at what I do. Just gonna cover those guys I don't like anything folded so it'll catch water. So I'm scared of drowning worms. Pretty sure they crawl out of it in time, but. Looks like I got something going here. Oh. Let's see what that is. Oh, it's an avocado. <sighs> that's cool. I just accidentally broke the top off of it. But that's really neat. And again, it's coated in worms. I'll just push this stuff back down there. If that thing stops growing, maybe they'll eat it. So I've put a lot of avocado pits in here and you find very few. So we eat avocados like crazy. I love making spicy guacamole. So, all right, I'll show you how I feed them. And I'm just gonna throw in a few more frozen bell peppers in there and kind of a mound of this is frozen lettuce, so they'll kind of go away from it until it falls out. Just pile that up there like that. Usually I let it thaw out a little bit more, but I just want to get them fed today. I got a lot of work to do and cleaning up this back room. So take a scoop of this. It's just my worm chow. And worm chow is, is uh, oats, cornmeal, or corn flour, any kind of flour that we have on hand that we're not, that we haven't used or set around for a while or whatever, just any kind of flour. And then 
I put seeds and stuff in there and grind it up and coffee grounds. But then I water it in like this. Because I don't like to see clumps of the flour and stuff build up on there. It takes them a while to eat it when it does that. So I just kind of wash it down into the soil or to their bedding. I'm going to turn this potato over because they were eating the inside. Yeah. Oh man, look at that. Clump of worms. But yeah, just babies everywhere, but they're gonna they're gonna completely fill this bin. And that's not gonna be a good thing. Because I want them to keep breeding and keep breeding. But I got things like, you know, fresh green beans we bought from the store that we didn't eat. I don't put food that I've cooked in my bins. It's all raw food. I never put cooked food or anything with oils or anything like that in there. But it's funny about these foods, even that apple, you can see they put castings all over the top of their food. And then the castings have all that bacteria and stuff in it and it helps break down the food and then they can go in and eat it but I do it like this it makes a nice environment for them I don't have any overfeeding problems but that's all I do to feed them Usually I just do the feeding part. I don't dig into them. <laughs> but I want to see how full this bin was, see if it's going to be worth taking apart. So it is. In the next week or two, I'll be tearing this one and bin four apart. And you guys, I'll film it, and y'all can see all the worms that come out of these bins. So you can see how many worms I run in my bins to keep them breeding. Because this is breeding like this has actually been easier and more and just better just all the way around than trying to breed in small bins and keep them all separate from the, everything else. So I just let them do their thing for now anyway. But that's it guys. Thank you. Please like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications and that's it for feeding bin number two and we'll come back and i'll show you in a couple of days how far down that food's gone and it'll, there'll be almost nothing left of it have a good day bye